Hello, Lasallians, grade 10 students, at welcome sa part 4 ng video about the topic plate tectonics. This presentation is powered by DLSAU Farm, Flexible Alternative Remote Modality of Learning. So, sa video number 3, nabanggit na natin ang isang evidence for plate tectonics which is paleomagnetism. Now, in this video, we will discuss the remaining three, earthquake patterns, ocean drilling, and hot spots. So, in terms of earthquake patterns, scientists found a close link between deep-focused earthquakes and ocean trenches. The absence of deep-focused earthquakes along the oceanic ridge system was shown to be consistent with the new theory. So, look at the picture. May kikita ninyo yung maraming red dots. Yung mga red dots na yan symbolizes the active activity of earthquake. So, may, uh, madalas nagkakaroon ng earthquake sa spot na yun. So, in comparison to our second map, which, which shows the plate boundaries na present, so, kung saan yung plate boundaries, nandun din yung mga pulang dots or yung mga red dots na may kita sa first map na pinakita ko sa inyo. Now, for the third evidence, which is ocean drilling, so the data on the ages of seafloor sediment confirm what the seafloor spreading hypothesis predicted. The youngest oceanic crust is at the ridge crest and the oldest oceanic crust is at the continental margins. So, ang mga ang, ang recent lamang na oceanic crust ay may kita sa ridge crest kung saan yun yung source ng moving apart ng diver, uh, divergence plate boundary at ang pinakamatatandang ocean crust naman na may kita sa, sa border ng continents. So, another or last uh, evidence ng plate tectonic, tectonics is hot spots. So, a hot spot is a concentration of heat in the mantle capable of producing magma, which rises to Earth's surface. So, the Pacific, Pacific Plate moves over a hot spot producing the Hawaiian Islands. So, hot spot evidence supports that the plates move over the Earth's surface. So, ang example niya, ang Hawaiian Islands. So, ayan, ma, uh, ang, almost ang Hawaii ay volcanic islands, no? So, sa ilalim nila ay may mga mantle, plumes, which is uh, source ng hotspot pinatawa. Ayan. So, kapag titignan natin yung, pag hinati natin yung mundo, may kita natin mga mantle plumes, which sa taas, sa surface, may kita natin may mga volcano. And the source of, of this energy is from the core and mantle. Now, what are the causes of plate motion. Scientists generally agree that convection occurring in the mantle is the basic driving force for plate movement. So convective flow is the motion of matter resulting from changes in temperature. So kung titignan natin yung animation, ayan yung convection flow sa interior of the earth. So hot gases or hot uh, gas Rises, tapos pag lumalamig na, bumabalik sa ilalim. So that's the convection flow. Slab pool is a mechanism that contributes to plate motion in which cool, dense oceanic crust sinks into the mantle and pulls the trailing lithosphere along. It is thought to be the primary downward arm of the convective flow in the mantle. Ridge push causes oceanic lithosphere to slide down the sides of the oceanic ridge under the pull of gravity. It may contribute to plate motion. And mantle plumes are masses of hotter than normal mantle material that ascends, ascend toward the surface where they may lead to igneous activity. Okay. So... ends our uh, explanation about plate tectonics. I hope you learn something dito sa series of videos. So, don't forget to 